Billings collects the rebound. Now Howard pushing. Washington just shooting 33% from the floor in this first half so far. Trying to get that number up. Here's Parker. Goes baseline at Deladon. Deladon able to deflect that and block the shot. Behind the back, too, after that block. There's EDD. Turns, hangs. Doesn't get that one to go. Everywhere but down on that bucket attempt by Deladon. Billings takes a fall down inside. She and Tiana Hawkins tangled up. Look at the defense. Just wants the defensive rotation. And there's Cloud closing up that gap in the paint. Gray off the mark as Cloud controls. Under 30 to play here in the opening half. Good job, Mike. Cloud to stay composed. Sykes attacking baseline. Gets the lay in to go. A 42-33 lead here. Shot clock turned off. Dream can play for final shot of the half. Ten seconds now for Howard. Taken away by Hawkins. Has Howard to beat. Lays it up and in. 4.5 left for the Dream. Howard, two seconds, lets it fly. And the first half will come to an end. Well, the Washington Mystics closed out this first half in strong fashion. Brittany Sykes taking it hard to the rack for the strong finish. A nice pass initially by Natasha Cloud that led the WNBA in assists last year. Six this season with just under six again. Our half tonight's matchups. You see the Dream and the Mystics with the same record, but with that season series being in favor of Atlanta, they currently would take the higher seed. Well, it's about pride at this juncture of the season, right? You're still jockeying for where you will ultimately end up in terms of your playoff seeding, but when it comes down to it, you're playing for pride. You have an opportunity to improve, and that's what you want. As a coach, you want that. As a player, you definitely want that. And we take a look at your award <laughs> winners. If you were giving them what you are a voter. I am a voter for both AP and WNBA. AP votes were due today, so I spent a chunk of my afternoon with these. And the most valuable player in my estimation is Asia Wilson. I mean, best player on the best team, balance. She gives you offense, she gives you defense. She's been consistent with it, which is a key word for me as a former coach. Uh, Nafisa Collier, I think with her being able to come back after a most improved. I thought that her consistency was definitely excellent as well. Brittany Sykes, defensive player of the year. We already talked about it. And you can see the other ones there, but really tough to do because everyone has their own formula. Right. And there's no criteria that's given. And Ariana, you were able to catch up with some coaches ahead of this third quarter. That's right. I was chasing down some assistant coaches in Tasha Cloud has zero points. That's unheard of from those two stars from Washington. And on the defensive end, they just need to pick up their sense of urgency. Now for Atlanta, the coaches feel like they're doing a great job on offense. Ryan Howard has 10 points already in the first half. She had 10 points total during her last game. Just on the offensive end and towards the end of that half, they were just a little bit sloppy. They said the Mystics aren't doing anything special, but just applying more pressure defensively. Well, first of all, happy birthday to Ariana Prather's father, Desmond Freeman. It's his birthday today, but you're absolutely right. I mean, with what Ariana was talking about, you have to stay consistent with your defensive pressure. And, and that was a little too egregious. There is some extracurricular contact by the Dream on Atkins. But you have to remain disruptive. Whether you're on or off the ball, you have to bring that energy. They called it on Monique Billings. This is the second of the ball game for Billings. Inside Deladon. Ten on the shot clock, sees the double. On the kick, extra one, corner. That corner three goes for Brittany Sykes. 
If you're going to blitz and double team, then everyone else has to be in full rotation to the basketball. It's two on the ball, two, one pass away, and a safety to play that back pass so that you can move on the pass to contest that three. No one was there. Sykes nails it. And they're gonna get Parker on an offensive foul there. Not establishing her position on Sykes. Well, this is what Washington did well. Here's the double team shown to Deladon. And then she swings out of it to Cloud. Cloud, one more to the corner for that triple. And then the screen on the handoff action by Parker. She just turned her body after the handoff and made contact. Opposite corner, different result for Sykes from three. The Mystics, they're just a couple of stops and scores away from getting over the hump. They just haven't been able to manufacture that kind of energy yet. Howard on the pull-up jumper doesn't go. Rebounded by Deladon. Sykes now controlling on the push. Robinson almost got that one, was just a hair away from it. Here's Heinz Allen in the paint, goes glass. Oh, what a nice play by Natasha Cloud, staying poised and patient. She could have shot that first shot, but she said, no, let me make this work a little bit, make the defense, make some tougher choices. Atkins whistled for the foul. But this is what veteran leadership is. See, calling for that little screen by Hines Allen. Nice slip down to the mid-range for Maisha Hines Allen. Great connectivity with Cloud on that one. Two-point ball game. This is the closest the Mystics have been since going back to the first quarter. And Natasha Cloud, that was her eighth assist. In Washington, they have been magnificent in terms of playing with one another in terms of their spacing and timing. 14 assists, 15 made buckets. Parker, a little shimmy shake as she gets that to go. That's just smooth. Cheyenne Parker. That's a big time move there. Eight points for her on fourth nine, shooting for the dream. Solid. Deladon, baseline jumper, gets it to go, cuts it back to two. And again, the relocation and spacing. Paying dividends for the Mystics offensively. And an offensive foul is going to be called. Brittany Sykes getting in position. Elena Deladon for the Washington Mystics has stayed solid. Natasha Cloud, great chemistry there. Finding the shooter in the short corner. Deladon lets it fly with a feathery touch. Finds Allen, handoff back to Cloud. Sykes works off Hines Allen, collects herself, lays it up and in. Beautiful. Found her way to the rim, attacked the gap, and kept going after the initial bump. Atkins thought she had that one, but they say we'll stay with Atlanta. Well, this is why Brittany Sykes is my vote for Defensive Player of the Year. Yes, you can get blocked shots on a rotation after someone doesn't do their job, but she does her job. Brittany Sykes right there sits down, gets established, and takes the hit from Gray. Solid defensive performance. Howard finds Parker, bobbles it, still gets the shot off. Doesn't go, though. She wanted contact on that one, Hines Allen. Retreats. Parker closed up that gap and is asking for some clarification. Hines Allen on the slip, too strong. Parker changed that shot, made Hines Allen shoot it too high and too hard. Robinson up to Parker, left open. Connects again from three. Parker has no problem knocking those down. No, she's solid from three. and She got hit down inside, so she decided to get her shot down from the outside. Only 26% on the season for Cheyenne Parker, but she can extend the floor. She just picked up a technical foul. And she was frustrated on that previous possession for Atlanta. Thought that she was tagged down there in the paint and had some words about that. 